Hi, I'm Rob from B&H, and in this video we're taking a look and a listen to Sennheiser's AVX Camera Mountable Digital Wireless Audio System. Sennheiser definitely knows a thing or two about wireless audio systems. Their G3 has been an industry standard for years, so we were quite excited when Dave Missall gave us a preview of the AVX system at NAB earlier this year. Well, now we have our hands on it, and in fact, we're using it for this video. I'm wearing the ME2 Lavalier microphone, which is attached to the SK body pack transmitter, which sends the signal digitally at 24-bit, 48 kilohertz, to the EKP XLR receiver, which is attached to our Canon XF305, which is recording the audio and, of course, shooting this video. Later in the video, I'll switch to the AVX42 handheld transmitter to give you an idea of how it sounds as well. The AVX system sports an outstanding form factor for the videographer on the go. The metal EKP XLR receiver only weighs about three ounces and attaches right to the XLR input on your video camera and rotates up to 320 degrees to accommodate any additional camera mounted accessories that you may also have. With a professional video camera that features two XLR inputs, you can use two EKP XLR receivers at once with a discrete audio feed for each of the camera's two channels. For DSLR users, a shoe mount is included along with an XLR to mini adapter cable to feed the camera's mic input. The shoe mount can also be attached to the included belt clip. The small SK body pack transmitter also weighs only about three ounces and is housed in a tough metal chassis with a display that shows you battery life and signal strength. LEDs show you at a glance if the system is paired properly. Sennheiser's lavalier mics also feature locking connectors so they don't detach at a critical moment. Both the belt pack and handheld transmitters, as well as the receiver, feature rechargeable lithium-ion batteries. Recharging is done through these USB ports. The transmitter will give you about 11 hours of battery life. The receiver will give you about four to five hours of battery life. And a clever feature is that it looks for phantom power from the camera to turn on. So if it's not receiving phantom power, the receiver's battery will power down, saving you battery life in the field. If you're a DSLR user, and phantom power isn't an option, you'll simply power the system on and off manually. The receiver can also be powered through its USB port, allowing it to run for numerous hours on a USB power pack or indefinitely if you have access to an AC. The batteries on the receivers and transmitters are removable and can be purchased separately so you can have fully charged spare batteries ready in the field. Because the AVX is digital, you don't have to worry about figuring out which frequency block is going to work in your geographic area. The AVX will automatically find the cleanest frequency in the 1920 to 1930 megahertz range and because the transmitter and receiver are using two-way digital communication they'll automatically pair up on that channel. If it detects interference the AVX will automatically increase the power on the transmitter. If the increase in power doesn't overcome the problem the system will substitute a clear frequency well before the audio signal itself is affected for pristine, worry-free sound. The AVX system makes setting the audio levels very easy because its automatic gain control, or AGC, does it for you. Unlike the AGC on your camera, which doesn't work very well and often yields a lot of noise and hiss, the AVX's automatic gain control works brilliantly, taking full advantage of the system's extraordinary dynamic range to deliver proper audio levels even when your source audio goes from quiet to loud in the same scene. The only setting you might need to adjust is the AF output level on the receiver. If you're using a DSLR, I'd set that level fairly high, turn off the camera's automatic gain control, and manually set the camera's input level fairly low to reduce the hiss from the camera's noisy preamps. So in a typical working scenario where the subject has the transmitter on their backside, Sennheiser indicates that you should get an operating range of about 30 30 meters with the AVX system. To test that out, we brought it here to the B&H Superstore, and indeed it is working for us at considerable distances. Also, we're not getting any interference from all the electronic devices being used here in the B&H Superstore, so that's good. Furthermore, if you're concerned about prying ears, that shouldn't be a problem because the AVX system comes standard with AES 256-bit encryption for security. 
The AVX system comes in a couple of different configurations depending on your needs. The system we have with us today includes both the ME2 lav mic, which you heard earlier, and the AVX42 handheld transmitter, which features an MD42 mic capsule. This handheld option is excellent for ENG or red carpet style interview situations where you don't have time to lav up your subjects. The MD42's omnidirectional capsule picks up sound from all around the capsule, which makes the mic pretty forgiving if you're moving it quickly between interview subjects. But since it's a dynamic mic, its range is fairly limited, so you shouldn't get too much background noise. If you need even more sound isolation, you can use the AVX835 transmitter instead. The transmitter is the same, but the 835 dynamic mic features a cardioid capsule that focuses sound capture at the end of the mic and rejects more of the off-axis sound. The AVX system is also available with Sennheiser's MKE2 lavalier, which costs a bit more but delivers even better sound than the ME2. Keep in mind that if you purchase the AVX kit with both the body pack and handheld transmitters, only one of them can be paired with the receiver at any given time. If you need to switch transmitters, turn the first transmitter off, power up the other one, and hit the pair buttons on the receiver and the new transmitter, and voila, you're ready to go. The AVX system is also compatible with additional lavalier and headset microphones, as long as they feature Sennheiser's locking mini connector. So there's a look and a listen to Sennheiser's new AVX camera mountable digital wireless audio system. I'm Rob from BH, and thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, BH has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.